So, I mean, you add mistletoe to a woodland, um, you're adding uh, about two and a half million more insects per hectare per year. Hello, I am joined with uh, David, what is your last name, sorry, David? Watson, Watson. David Watson, um, absolute pleasure to meet you, mate. Pleased to meet you. Uh, we're at the Grounded Fest in Western Australia in the southwest, um, and I hear that you know all about mistletoe. Um, and a lot of it's just dispelling myths. Uh, there's that word, the P word, parasite. And people hear parasite, they think, oh, no, you've got to get drugs for that. You've got to sort that <laughs> stuff out. That's that's that that's not good. Um, and yeah, mistletoes are parasitic plants. They take, they take from their host. Um, for, for 30 odd years, I've been working out like, and what do they do with all that stuff that they take? And I found out that they're actually weirdly really important in terms of forest and woodland health. Um, and so they, uh, they, they support pollinator communities, uh, insectivore communities. Uh, but the real, the main pathway that my work has discovered is um, they take all these nutrients from the tree and they drop it in their leaves. So the tree gets it all back again. But in that litter, there's five, 10, 20 times the nutrient density of, you know, of any other plant. Um, and so that, that kind of supercharges soil health. Uh, so decomposition rates of litter go sky high. Carbon sequestration gets, gets much, much more rapid. Uh, microbes move in, fungi move in, insects gobble them up, insectivores respond.